Okay, now here is a series of cells. Now you guys have to look at your mitosis under the microscope, so you should be able to identify all stages of mitosis on the fish blastodisc slide as well in lab. That will be part of your quiz and your practical. This is going to show you the mitosis in the form of a model. So remember your stages of mitosis are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Before mitosis begins, your cell is an interphase. And during interphase, the DNA is in the form of chromatin, long stringy strands, and the DNA is being replicated. Because in order to undergo mitosis, you have to have two sets of DNA so that you can end up with two identical cells. So this is showing you a cell in prophase. During prophase, you have the regular normal cell like we just looked at. You have a nucleus that's fully intact. You have chromatin in the nucleus. You have a nucleolus. Of course, you have all of your other organelles on this one. You can see mitochondria that are orange. You can see Golgi apparatus in red. You can see lysosomes in green. You can see endoplasmic reticulum in blue and your centrioles in yellow. So this DNA is being replicated, DNA replication. In order to undergo cell division, you have to undergo DNA replication. The cell will also be growing during this part of the cell cycle. Now this cell right here is showing you the first phases of mitosis where the cell is entering prophase. Notice we don't have chromatin anymore. We have cell, um, DNA that's begun to condense into condensed DNA, which we call chromosomes. So you can see here's a pair of chromosomes, here's our A chromosome, a pair of chromatids. Here's a chromosome, here's a chromosome, here's a chromosome, here's a chromosome. So DNA is replicated. You've got two copies of each um, chromatid, which is in the individual part of the chromosome, and they're held together in the middle by this little thing that looks like a deer print or a little hoof. This is called the centromere, and it holds these two chromatids together. Your nucleus is still intact, but it's starting to break up, and you also have replication of your centriole. So now you have two centrioles because the cell is preparing to divide. And you can see that these centrioles are already sending out fibers between them that will end up attaching to these chromosomes. This right here is true prophase because you're losing your nucleus. Notice you've got these big gaps in the nuclear envelope. You no longer have a nucleolus like you had here and here. And you have nice, fully condensed chromosomes. So here's your chromosomes with the centromere in the middle. Condensed DNA. You have two centrioles, and the centrioles, notice, have begun to migrate to either end of the cell as they prepare for cell division. These centrioles are going to be basically setting up the system that will separate the chromosomes. Again, this is prophase, late prophase. Your chromosomes are starting to separate out a little bit. You've got centrioles that are fully to either end of the uh, cell to opposite poles. And you started to create your spindle fibers here, which are in purple. And you can see those going between the centrioles. This little starburst pattern around this centriole, this whole area of the cell is called the centrosome. The centriole is the specific yellow part in the, um, right here. And these are spindle fibers. Notice no nuclear envelope, no nucleolus. Dang, my light just went out. This cell right here is representing metaphase. Notice now your chromosomes are all lined up in a line in the middle of the cell, stacked on top of each other. Sister chromatids together, held together by a centromere, which is this little part in the middle of the cell. And these spindle fibers are basically attaching to a structure on that centromere called the kinetochore and um, are going to be pulled separated by that. And here's your centrioles as well. This is early anaphase where the cell has already started to separate. So remember, anaphase is when you get a division between the two individual chromatids. Notice these chromatids are in a V pattern because this centromere part, the little pink part, in the middle is attached to the spindle fiber here. And as this spindle fiber pulls, these spindles will pull this way, these spindle fibers will pull this way, it's going to drag their respective chromatid with it to the opposite end of the cell. So you can see your space in the middle where these chromatids have started to separate. 
spindle fibers are pulling apart in opposite directions. This right here is late anaphase, so you see a big space between the two chromatids. Chromatids here going to one cell, chromatids here going to another cell. You can see the beginnings of cytokinesis here with your cleavage furrow. Remember cytokinesis is just when the cytoplasm splits. It's not an actual phase of the DNA part of cell division. Cent uh, cr centrioles and spindle fibers right here pulling your chromatids apart. This right here is showing you late, late anaphase, early telophase. You can see that the DNA is on opposite sides of the cell. Each part, each new cell has its own centriole and your cleavage furrow is deepening, getting ready to pinch off the cytoplasm. This would be telophase here. You've got almost two individual cells now that are identical with each other. You have the nucleus starting to reform. You have the nucleolus reappearing and your chromosomes will eventually decondense back down into chromatin. And you have a very deep cleavage furrow that's almost pinched these cells off entirely in the middle. You can see a little tiny bit of spindle fibers that connect them, but pretty much you have two genetically identical daughter cells. Interphase, prophase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, anaphase, anaphase slash telophase, telophase, cleavage furrow, cleavage furrow, cleavage furrow. Nucleolus, nuclear membrane, chromatin, chromosomes with a centromere, same thing here. Spindle fibers are these purple ones, centriole, centrosome, the whole area. Metaphase plate is what the chromosomes line up on. Spindle fibers here. Space, so that's anaphase, space, anaphase, cleavage furrow here. Two genetically identical daughter cells. So these are the stages of mitosis. Make sure you know those on the microscope slides as well as the model. Now we're going to look at the organs.